Filecoin proof benchmark tools can be used to evaluate running times for Filecoin's replication algorithms and proofs. Filecoin uses proofs of replication, or PoReps, to check and prove that storage miners are storing their clients' data correctly. Developers and researchers can use these benchmark tools to understand, study, and compare PoReP algorithms and parameter choices. In this demo, we will show how to install and use some of the benchmark tools to measure the runtime of the zigzag PoReP algorithm. This is Filecoin's current PoEP construction. Please note, everything you see in this demo is under active development and likely to change. The proof implementations and benchmark tools live in the Rust proofs repo. You can find instructions for how to install and run these benchmarks in the repo readme. First, you will need Rust and Rust Nightly. Next, clone the repository. Then, we go into the new Rust proofs directory and we build all proof examples. Let's take a brief look at what we built. In the examples directory, we can see many different proof components, such as the DRG PoRep and even complete proofs such as ZigZag. You can run any of these built binaries to benchmark the running time of each construction. Today, we will focus on ZigZag, which is the Filecoin protocol's current PoRep construction. This benchmark can be run with many different parameters. In order to see all of the options, as well as the default parameter values, we can pass in the help flag. The only required parameter is size. It specifies the size in kilobytes of the data to replicate. There are other key parameters here as well, such as the number of layers in the PoRep circuit, which defaults to 10. You can learn more about the zigzag PoRep construction and what each of these parameters means by visiting the Rust proofs repo on GitHub or reading the papers. Let's start by running the zigzag benchmark on 1024 kilobytes of data using the default options for other parameters. You can see the program starting to replicate the data in layers. As we noted earlier, there should be 10 layers in total. Once the replication is completed, the program will generate a zigzag PoRep proof. Looking through the output, we can see that total replication time was around 3.8 seconds while generating the proof took about 0.09 seconds. What happens if we double the size of the dummy data to 2048 kilobytes, or two megabytes? Now, replication takes around 9.9 .9 seconds, more than twice the replication time of one megabyte of data. Meanwhile, the time to generate a proof is 0.21 seconds. Now, let's try replicating and proving one gigabyte of data. This will take a while. Replication time for one gigabyte of data was 4,519 seconds, or around 75 minutes, while the time to generate a proof was 207.5 seconds, or around three and a half minutes. We can run benchmarks with different parameters on different hardware setups and with new optimizations to find configurations that lead to faster replication and proving times. These benchmarks will change over time as our proof implementations continue to develop. Developers and researchers can use these tools to understand, study, and improve performance characteristics of Filecoin proof constructions. Stay tuned for updates by watching the github.com slash Filecoin project slash Rust proofs repo.